Have you ever heard of the red paperclip story? In 2005, a guy named Kyle McDonald took this red paperclip and traded up one item at a time until he reached a house. Yes, a full-sized, three-bed, two-bath house that he didn't pay a dime for. So in the beginning of the pandemic, we thought, why not try this ourselves? We decided to start with a free flash drive from college with the goal of trading our way up until we could pay off our student loan debt. Over the last year and a half, we made 20 trades, and with our latest trade, we swapped for two tickets to an LA Lakers game just 17 rows from the court. Our goal from the beginning has always been to pay off our student loans, and since we had to start paying those back in February now, uh, we felt this was a really good time for us to cash out with the tickets that we do have and maybe try something else. We had a lot of fun trading, but we kind of struggled to hit that next level of trade, and we figured this was a good time for us to change it up. If you've been following along with our project so far, we want to tell you about our next idea. So we're going to reinvest the money that we got from trading and start flipping furniture. <laughs> We don't know much about flipping furniture, but we always challenge ourselves to do things that we usually just talk ourselves out of. We do still have two small items worth about $500 that we're trading, but we have a new goal. Instead of trading to pay off our loans, we're hopefully going to trade up for a small pickup truck that will help us transport the furniture easier. We've been offered small pickup trucks in the past, so we're hoping this is a tangible goal that we could hit. But the first step for us to do any of this is we have to clean out our garage. So we actually have a workshop for us to start flipping the furniture. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the garage tour. We've been here for a year, and this is the room that we uh, spend no money and attention on. So let's give you the tour. Small gasoline jug from the ATV. This box that's empty that we haven't recycled for some reason. It's been here since we got here. Oh, can jam. Some new stuff we threw in the middle. Bikes with four flat tires. And our Pride and Joy snowboard rack, which hasn't been used in two years. Needless to say, it's just full of crap. And we got a lot of clean left to do. Baby. I mean, there's one above everywhere. I guess something was moving. No. The problem with spider webs is it's got the tensile strength of steel, the sheer stretch factor of Kevlar. <laughs> you can't just pull them. You gotta spin. She go in the shed. Ah, oh, sweet niblets. Day number two, cleaning at the garage. I think we should leave blow everything out of here.
Big Mama. Hello. Oh, hey there. Welcome back. It's a little bit cleaned up. We don't know the direction of our channel yet, but we hope to keep you updated on our journey of paying off our student loans through the small trades and now flipping furniture. And hopefully soon we'll be debt free.